Hey guys, this is for you beginners out there who do not know how to use support yet. This is an unsupported model, but due to its waviness, uh, I think I'll just use it for this demonstration. It's just going to be a few little settings that you might want to mess with through different printers, like different settings. So we're, we'll just go through it quickly, hey guys. So generating support, a lot of people would generate a manual support which is an absolute travesty I like if I'm feeling lazy I like to use tree supports uh, the less degree this is the more vertical supports you'll get in so uh, I started off at 20 degrees and uh, went to 40 it, it's alright it, it does like I say this is a lazy setting it does what it needs to don't mess with any of them this is an important one I think because uh, if you put everywhere you'll literally get supports in all these little crevices and you'll probably never get them out unless you go and take at it with a little pick so touching build plate is pretty much a must on this if your printer can comfortably do 70 degree overhangs then so be it. put 70 degrees and um, you'll save on time and filament not a lot of filament but definitely on time I like all of my printers are set up on 50 degrees uh, this is a standard setting triangles it doesn't really make that much of a difference because your density is only going to be maximum 12% uh, I usually have it on zero but uh, uh, not long had a lazy print and wanted it on five five percent just to make sure that I had no uh, no bad overhangs. So uh, yeah, triangles wall count uh, on manual supporting. I like to have wall count set to zero, but that's a different video. Uh, support lined up. Yeah, your brim. I like to wear. Uh, add another 60-70% on top, uh, you're, you're usually set at 13 uh, as as default if you've got a brim enabled uh, yeah I, I changed it to 12 but I uh, clicked all of the refresh buttons just before starting the video so I can go through it as it's stock right there we go, zero <laughs> um, support Z distance this is something that your printer will have, and yourself will have to figure out yourself. I like, I like to have it a layer height, so two and two, and my support X Y distance I have set to five. Uh, Z overrides X and Y. Uh, what else do we have? Enable your support interface. That'll help you out a lot. That'll uh, give it a little base to sit on when it gets to the end of the support. Your thicknesses, uh, densities. I don't have it hundred percent. I have set at eighty percent, and uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Set it to lines if you want. They are your uh, support interface patterns. So. So uh, the roof before your uh, before it helps out your uh, overhang, and there's nothing really else that you'd mess with. Yeah, two percent, and doing that, this is how it will turn out. Let's wait for it to load up, guys. I am getting through a bit more videos as we go along so please uh, subscribe to my channel. I know I'm a boring person but I, I like to think that I can help a few people out with this kind of stuff. And now it doesn't want slice, well we will get there guys. Over this, ne over the next couple of days, I'm hoping to get about 20 videos out. Uh, the next one will be on ironing 
with uh, ironing patterns, etc. And I think I need to upgrade my processor. <laughs> uh, here we are. It wasn't running this slow when I was uh, having a little tester, so here it is. The, to get less of this, you will want to play with your support over anger, over overhang angle but I'd be happy with that if I was new didn't didn't quite know what to press or anything yeah all right guys cheers <laughs>